Okay, so we have our character, Neomir, and what we want to do is we want to uh, export it into Unreal 5, okay? So, let's see how we do that. First of all, we need to uh, put in a normal pose. So, we'll go into motion and we'll just chuck on a pose and an A pose, okay? And that should be fan. From there... What we're going to do is we're going to say file, uh, export as FBX, clothe character. And we can go ahead and do this. And f over here, Maya, put onto Unreal 5 or 4, whatever you're using. But we're using Unreal 5. Mesh and motion, we just need the mesh. So we just need to do that. HD character, I'm going to do a sub D1 so it can actually go through. Uh, because my machine crashes if it's too high. Um, and the rest we can leave as is. Mm, there's a few things we need to change. So sub D1, embed textures, we don't want to embed them. Uh, you can leave all these done. Delete hidden faces, yes, we can do that. Let me just see what's here, nope. Um, bake diffuse, we don't need that. Bake diffuse maps, yes, use subdivision mesh. Uh, use smooth mesh, yes. Um, and I think like so all of I think we don't need this either okay so once we've got that we should be good and you can export okay just remember from the real illusion hub just get unreal auto setup set it up there's a lot of tutorials on how to do that you just drag and drop the relevant folders into your projects and metahuman live link okay so you need a couple of tools to just install beforehand to Unreal Engine. Uh, once you've done that, then you can be, you should be here, and you can go through to where is it? Where is it? Where? To edit plugins, and over here you can just look up CC. I think it's CC. Uh, there's Character Creator and iClone Auto Setup. You should see that one. Enable it. And what's the other one? Character. There. Character Creator UE Control Rig. Okay, uh, and if you've got those two, then you should be good to go, I think. Better human character, yeah, those two plugins. Okay, and once you've done that, you can bring your human in. Okay, so I've got this. I'm going to grab my Naomi HD FBX, and I'm going to drag and drop it in here, and let's see what it does. Now, sometimes when you drag and drop something in, you'll just see this translating source file. This is wrong. Uh, it should open up with the CC thing and uh, let me show you how to do it. So if you drag and drop something in, you might get this. It's wrong. It shouldn't be doing it this way. It should go straight into a CC plugin opening up and asking you what you want to import. You'll see a screen that pops up like this, but this is its not what we want. It's not what we want. So I'm going to cancel that. Sure, yeah. Okay, so what I noticed was that uh, it nothing was working it wasn't working and that's because I installed the plugins to the engine not the project so now that I I've done it to the project I get uh, these things opening and giving me the correct kind of things okay which is pretty cool now let's drag in the character and see if that works okay so now we're gonna drag this in I'm hoping it all works and it does okay so if you get that problem of that it doesn't work it's because your plugin should not be in your uh, engine. It should be in your project. Okay. And over here, I'll just take all the bells and whistles. I'll say, okay. And it's working. Okay. So once it's imported, you should get something like this. FX import. And do you want skeletal mesh? You want to import the mesh? Um, you want to preserve the smoothing. You want to import the mesh and bones, import morph targets, yes, okay. Um, and the rest, I think, should be all good, I'm thinking. Okay, so leave the rest as uh, default settings and hit import. And we'll start importing everything. Okay, and here is our character, Nomi HD, Nomi HD, skeletal mesh, skeleton all of that stuff you can right click i think on the skeleton 
By the way, you might get a, a little pop-up saying missing project settings. Just say enable missing and it'll sort it out for you. Right, from there, you can just go onto the skeletal mesh, right-click it and say create CC control rig. Right, it'll do some stuff. You gotta wait. And I got a out of memory. Yay. Okay, so I did it again. I opened it up, I right clicked, I said create CC control rig, and you'll see a new uh, folder here called rigs. If you open rigs, you get your blueprint. You can drag in your blueprint. Okay. And there they are. Let's see what they look like. Oh, they actually look really good, man. <laughs> I've got a bit of a skin differentiation. That's from CC, but that's fine. I can always go back and reimport and whatever. But damn, they look good, man. Even the hair looks all right. Even the hair, mate. So, all I'm going to do just quickly right here for now is I'm going to right click. I'm going to say cinematics, level sequence. I'm going to create one and I'm just going to bring it in here quickly just so that we can add it up. I'll open it from here. And I will select her, and I will add uh, Naomi, and we should get a rig. Where is it? Where is it, Jamie? I mean, we get the rig. There it is. Okay, I just had G on my keyboard. But that's it. Uh, <laughs> there we go. We've got the rig. Everything's working. Let's let's see about the face rig. Let's look at the face rig. It is the bloody... Oh, there it is, Jimmy. There it is. And is it working? Where is that working, Jimmy? Let's have a look here. Let's have a look at the eyes. Oh, my God, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. It really is. And then, obviously, the final test. <laughs> so that's how you get your... <laughs> uh, that's how you get your character into CC... Um, what we'll do also for the the next one is we'll get the hair dynamic, we'll get everything working, looking cool, we'll add some animations to it, and we'll get it working, and we'll get it working. Uh, but there it is, there is your met... <laughs> we'll get the dynamics in the hair, we'll get everything working, we'll get the dress working, we'll get everything working, but that look good. That looked real good. And then obviously the mesh is broken, right? Yeah, look at that. It's perfect. So you completely optimized mesh inside of here, which is great, man. Even here. Wow. Okay. So it's great. It's great, Jimmy. Usually we would import them naked because then you can just add your own clothes and stuff uh, within the within the BP. You can just, you know, if I grab, if I grab this little bastard, and then you've got the body, the face, and you can you can add different things in there. But this is fantastic. This is great. It works. And there she is, Jimmy. There she is. Let's put on a little bit of a smile. That's great. Okay, and just as a quick bonus, uh, signs. Just bring in one of these camera actors, add it into our uh, whatever it is, and then we can just go in. And where where is she? There she is. We can see in all her beautiful glory. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? You can close her up and just get it in focus. Something like that. There we go. There we go. And there's Naomi. We've got a beautiful Naomi. Look at us. There we go. Bring in a bit of a, I don't know. Something, I don't know, whatever, you know, smiling, I don't know, there we go, she's smiling at us, and that, my friends, let's just try and get her into focus, and that's that really, that is that, we can change the sky, I guess, I don't know how, this is a, this is an odd sky, I guess, it's just the sphere, okay, but that's it. That's how we can get in our character. Uh, and I think it's wonderful. I think it's beautiful. 
And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helps. And I'll speak to you guys later. Bye, guys.